Hello, my name is Vela Garbia and welcome to this episode of Prismarine Bay, guys. Our Minecraft 1.13 single player series here on the channel. I hope you're alright, guys. I hope you're alright. I have made a rough outline <laughs> of this, uh, this entire harbor here, guys. And uh, today we're going to start with the building here, our transport hub this is going to be. But it's going to look like a harbor master's quarters. <clears throat> but yeah, I've just uh, basically placed the logs and the um, bricks and the, and the poles here. I haven't done anything fancy here at all. I've just put cobble and also it's kind of floating at the moment. <laughs> but it's a, it's a great start and it gives you an idea of the thing I have that's what it's supposed to look like that's the rough cut okay let's go up here again uh, yeah so we're gonna do that we're gonna start on this building right I don't think we're gonna finish it today and then uh, I have in mind to try and at least start uh, moving the sheep farm because it's now in the way right we want the uh, road to go basically here and that's not possible at the moment for uh, sheep related reasons and sort of turn up here and maybe have a square here instead of this sheep farm. So the idea here is that the, it's going to look like uh, like our style, but it's going to be a little bit different. So we're going to try out these uh, spruce spruce poles. Uh, they're very red, <laughs> but I'm going to try them. Okay, so they're going to be like the pillars. And so there's going to be one opening here or one entrance, and then if we go down here, there's going to be two entrances as well. The, the idea is that this is the entrance to the office space and, and his uh, or her living quarters. And these two lead to uh, yeah, warehouses, basically, where they keep the, the uh, goods that has been taken as payment uh, or has been confiscated for some reason. So that's, that's the general idea of, of this build. Now, the, there's going to be things in here, though. Gonna be things in here, so uh, in here we're gonna have a a nether portal. Uh, we have one over there by the ship that you can almost see in the in the distance. But I want to have one over in that end of the base and one over in this end of the base, just for convenience, right? Uh, and I might end up moving that one even a little bit further away, but we'll see about that. But and then in these two, these two are gonna contain two different railroads here, actually. And uh, I'll get back to what they're going to do in a later episode, where they're going to go. But I want to be able to sit around on my bum and actually see my base and, and also transport myself. Because, you know, nether portals are great, right? You can go and you can go a little distance and you can get a long way in the, in the overworld. But what they do require, unless you make a railroad in the nether, uh, what they do require, like ice roads and things like that, they require you to actually walk. But if you have a railroad, you can actually just hop in, off you go, and then you can go and have a coffee or something, and then come back and you're at your destination. So I actually think there's a case to be made for having these uh, railroads. Even though they're slower, they actually might be a more efficient use of time. And now I need to do some counting. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So here's, well, here's the middle of this. And let's see here if we have any andersite. I think I do. Yeah, so the idea here is to take what we've uh, done now, and uh, which was a really, really rural style, and evolve it a little bit here. Make it a little bit fancier, maybe, you can say. And uh, sort of, yeah, just, yeah, fancify is probably a good word to, to, to use here. Um, but we're going to try with these things here. I don't know that this is going to be... Let's see, we need to have an opening here, and so something needs to happen here because it's obviously not straight, which I like. I like that it's not straight, but we need to handle it, yeah? And I don't know how... So these... Yeah. I think... Uh, do we have any any oak left? I've, I've gone... Yeah, we have a little bit. I've gone hard. Uh, I've, I've been rough <laughs> with my oak supply. Let's actually... No, I, I, have a, I have a bit of an idea here. Uh, what we could do possibly. Uh, so I think we need like a block here. Well, let's see. Like 
this, but we need to uh, bark it, right? How does these two go together? They don't look too bad. They don't look too bad. So then we can have another one here. And yeah, I want to build a little bit on camera here, and then I'll do the bulk of it off camera and, and show you basically. But uh, we, we need to start anyway, right? Here on camera. So like this maybe. And uh, let's can take these things away here because they need to be a floor of some description and I can reuse them later. So then we have created here like a nice little entrance way here. But what, what do we have here? Let's just chuck that wasn't what I meant to do at all. Let's just chuck these in here for now, maybe like this, and see where we go with that. Maybe that looks good. Yeah. Yeah, this is this is good, right? Then we have the beams here, and so this needs to be, of course, the other way around. Like that, and so does that, because <laughs> the beams always need to rest. The cross beams, I should say, always need to rest on what's below them, right? Because otherwise, it looks like it's a fantasy build, <laughs> guys. Like that, right? And then we can have a couple of doors. Do I have a couple of doors? No. Do I have a crafting bench? No. <laughs> Do I have anything? I have a chest, which I might need in a minute, considering how full my inventory is. And I think maybe we should go for these old doors. And if we place them like this, that might look alright. Yeah, and then we need some sort of block here, which probably should be a probably should be like an oak stair or something like that. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's make make a bunch, right? Make a bunch. Because I'm sure we'll use them at some point, right? Right. Let's just put some food away or something. So that's nice. That's that's a good start, right? <laughs> Yay! Alright, that's my favorite feature of these guys. Oh, I need to tell you something, by the way, before we have a look at this uh, little build. Now, um, I am still on 16W, 18W16A here, and that is because the newest snapshot 19 A and B, well, they don't really work that well yet with worlds that are um, snapshot worlds. So where, where you've been on 16 uh, B, you can't be on 19 B or 19 A. So yeah, I'm a bit um, annoyed about that, but hopefully they'll fix that soon. Otherwise, we're going to have to reroll worlds, guys. But yeah, okay, so I built a facade here. <laughs> As you can see from this side, it doesn't look very much. But uh, from the other side, I'm starting to like the style, you know? I like the roof, where it's like two two houses almost that are put together. We have a little bit of an issue maybe with, uh, like, the bottom isn't aligned with the top. But I don't think that matters too much. I don't think that matters too much at all. And I like the andersite, guys. That is what I set out to do. I, I set out to build with andersite, and that's what we're doing here. Um, I wanted to avoid cobble as much as possible in this base. Um, well, and uh, in the buildings at least, right? And so it's a different style. It's a very different style, and I kind of like it. Yeah. So uh, let's have a look at the details here. Um, that there's uh, obviously there's much more to do here, but uh, I think we're sort of it's got great depth. You know, it goes out uh, a book here and then a book up there, and and what, what am I running into? A stair. And uh, yeah, I, I, in general, I just like it. I think these beams here they they add something. So maybe we need to have a couple of more of these. Um, and uh, yeah, we we have. It, it, you know what it looks like? It looks like a little bit like a fire station. Uh, but but let's ignore that for for the moment. So then I've uh, started planning out, which uh, planning out like what the inside is going to look like. So there's going to be an elevation change here, of course. Now we might have a wall here, and then just a little stair down or something. 
but uh, we'll see exactly what we do later. And I think I do think that these uh, these are super red, right? But they do work. They do work. So I'm uh, I'm kind of happy about that. Let's see if we can uh, maybe uh, plug this hole as well here. Uh, nice and nice cozy uh, recessed entrance here. And these are a little bit less so, but they're bigger, and you know, these lead, presumably lead into warehouses. But they are actually going to be train stations. Yeah, so that's that build for today, guys. That's that build for today. I need to like dump all the things I have on my bar, and then I need to move this darn fangled sheep farm. And uh, that's not going to be so easy, to be honest. Uh, and you know why? You know why? Because we have sheep in it. <laughs> That's super annoying. <laughs> yeah, so what I need to do, right, is I need to figure out where I'm going to put it. Now, the thing is, what I'm thinking here is I'm going to make a much smaller sheep farm. I'll probably put most of these sheep in one, like, one module and do a dispenser one instead. And then my idea is I can always dye the sheep, can't I? If I just set up a proper dye farm, I can always dye the sheep the color I want to and then share all of them in the in that module. And I'm thinking maybe, oh, I don't know where it's going to go. Because I want to make something out of this. This is going to be the, like the entrance to our mine. And well, it's already the entrance to our mine, but it's going to be like a, a fancified entrance to the mine. And uh, so it could go possibly up here in the hill, sort of in between uh, our harbor master's quarters and the storage system slash furnace or it could go somewhere else so the idea anyway is I need to build that first and then I need to come back here and sort of build like fences around here so that I can lead the sheep over to there and then I need to lead all the sheep out and in and only then can I tear this place down that's that's the general idea so you know what guys I'm gonna get going with this decide on a place and build this thing up and then we'll see how we go alright guys let's see here we have four sheep on leads and that's what we can do because we only have four leads actually now that I think about it I have eight leads but anyway let's let's just try these and see how we go uh, I don't think I need to make it as complicated as I thought so I made a little I started making a little bridge over there, and that's where we're going to have the farm, by the way. I decided. Uh, I'll show you where it is and how it works. And there's uh, many, many positives to this farm. There's also some negatives. We'll go through it in just a second here, guys. Uh, but now for the all-important pushing of the sheep. The sheep pushing. <laughs> I need to get all these four in here, right? And then I need to go and see what dye I have a lot of. Probably none, to be honest, but red seems likely. Or possibly lapis, although I don't really want to waste my lapis on these dudes unless I really, really need blue wool. Come on, get in! Oh, my days. Anyway, so imagine that we have 25 or so sheep in here. Here he is. Hello there, man. Come here, how did you end up out, out there? Honestly. Yeah, imagine that we have 25 sheep in this farm. Now what is going to happen is, they're all going to compete for exactly one grass block, right? So this farm, farm will take a while to recharge, is what I'm saying, right? And that is very bad. And it might even be so that the sheep that are already having wool keep eating the grass, so that some sheep are forever woolless, right? The good thing about this farm is that it's really, really easy to shear things in it, and super small. So, yeah. Well, I'll, I'll have to test it, and I'll get, I'll report back to you. Honestly, just get in there, you donut. Okay, so there we go. Now let's see here. So down here we have a chest, and in this chest there is nothing. That's that's. Oh yeah, because I've somehow picked up all my my uh, leaves again. But okay, so if we go up here. I will press this button. You will see that these guys start jumping up and down. And uh, that's good because then we can dye them very easily if we have dye in our right hand. We just click the dye. Oh, actually, I can breed these guys and then I can kill the rest. Can I? That's good. That's good. And yeah, and, and then once we've dyed them, we can just 
switch gear to our to our shears and shear them, and they will all end up uh, the wool that is to say will all end up in this chest because underneath here there's a hopper minecart underneath this block and it's on rails guys which means that it can pick up blocks sorry items underneath a full block Mike taught me that not long ago uh, I knew it already but I've forgotten it again and that's basically it there's a dispenser here on the back as you can see maybe you can see that uh, the button triggers the dispenser the dispenser has water in it and uh, that's about it Alright guys, that's how it works, and uh, yeah, uh, not too bad I'd say, and then uh, just to reiterate, you get the drops down here, uh, unless, like in this case, I got them in my hands, but that's not too bad, I moved uh, 6, uh, 10 sheep and I bred one, so there should be 11 in there now, and I got uh, 8, 9, 10, 11, 13. Well, there's one I didn't share, and that's the dark grey one actually. And uh, yeah, we'll see. I'll leave these here now, see how, how they go basically. And uh, we'll find out. But I think, guys, that that's gonna have to be it for today. I will have to move the sheep farm off camera, and uh, maybe next time we'll we'll have a look at as, as in remove the sheep farm. I think I might just I might, I might just slaughter these poor fellows over here. Yeah. Yeah, I think I might, and just breed them up in in the farm instead, because it's not that much fun to remove them. <laughs> yep. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time, guys. Bye!